What's up y'all? This is Daniel with Pride of the Southland Kennels. Uh, today's video is going to be over the topic of how to train a catch dog. This is a question that I've gotten a few emails about and a few messages on Instagram about. Um, so I figured that's a good question. I had that same question myself before I was ever able to do any type of catch work. Before we get into it though, I will say that the catch work I'm talking about is not going to be wild uh, hog hunting, feral hog hunting in the woods. It will be um, along the topic of using one for a catch dog on a farm. Um, I'm not trying to compare the two. Um, but one thing I will say, you know, we've done some catch work with some goats, some domestic hogs. Um, I'm not trying to say that the domestic hog catching is equivalent to that of the feral hog catching. However, I will say anybody that thinks that these domestic hogs just lay down when a dog approaches them, I would have to say you're wrong. They do put up a fight. Uh, we raised some Mangalista hogs, which is a Hungarian uh, domesticated pig crossed to a European wild boar. The piglets of the mangalisa and the wild boar do resemble each other. Um, so anyways, number one thing you got to do, and, and I'm going to speak on what I've done and in the context that I've done it. Number one thing you want to do when you're utilizing a catch dog on your own property for farm animals or domestic animals, you want to check the local laws in your area because they're very, very strict on it. So you, you really only do it when you need to do it. Um, and that should go without saying because if you're raising farm animals, you don't want them to be damaged. Uh, they may be milk animals. They may be animals you're breeding for profit. They may be animals you're uh, raising and breeding for meat. So the number one thing is you don't want the animals to be um, injured. It's only going to cost you more money or potentially lose you uh, lose your investment so I asked this question maybe a couple years ago to a guy and he simply told me you just let them go when the time comes and I have found that to be true so what I done was when I first had pigs out here I just let a dog or two know that they was on the property I did not let them inside of the pig pens with them I just only showed them that they were here when the time come you just let the dogs go they're either going to do it or they won't do it i have seen some dogs that are a little bit younger not necessarily know what they need to do or what you are asking of them um, and they'll be a little unsure but once they see another dog do it they will gladly join in um, it's pretty simple you don't want to start them too young um, for various reasons number one being if you give that young dog a, a match that he or she can't handle you're likely to lower the confidence of the dog and maybe never get the possibility again uh, to try it with that dog depending on the dog uh, number two you want to make sure depending on what type of animal that you're asking your dogs to catch um, you want to wait till the dog is of certain age uh, because of their teeth you know, you want to give their adult teeth time to come in and really take root and set in. I have seen dogs and hear about dogs losing teeth, and that doesn't mean anything. If you, you know, once they get grown, it doesn't guarantee they they won't lose a, a tooth. Um, there's a canine tooth out of a dog here. Uh, that's actually one of Neelan's. He's done. He's put his mouth on. Uh, more animals than any other dog out here. He is the oldest dog, but um, he has lost a canine um, I would say when he was Catching pigs the fight that I seen him um, Take on with them pigs and the fight that they put up I would say that they did a pretty they at least started the process of loosening some of his teeth I don't believe he had the best teeth in the world to begin with um, so that's something that I've started to pay 
a lot more attention to is the dog's teeth and the bite. Um, Emery here is out of Neelan. Neelan has an undershot still within standard, but more than I would like. Emery there is the offspring of him and she has a what I would call a correct scissors bite. Um, they, they accept anything in the NKC from a quarter inch or half inch undershot to a reverse scissors. They don't, they don't mention scissors bite, but um, I just have the feeling that they have more holding power and biting power with that. Could be wrong, but it seems like it's the most natural type of bite. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's really, I say it's simple. Um, you don't know until the dog gets the opportunity. Um, you do want to make sure, for the people that are watching that don't know anything about it, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know a lot about it. I've just had to use my dogs whenever I've needed them. Uh, I don't, uh, there is no training. You just let them go. Um, but uh, you, you, when you're talking about hogs, the first thing that Neelan done when he got the, his opportunity was he hit the pig right in the side and latched on right on the neck and jaw area. Pig bucked him, drug him a little bit, and then he went for the snout. He realized real quick that wasn't a place to go and he moved right on up to the ear. Within a minute, he done all of that. Um, that's where you want the dog, um, for me anyways, that's where you want the dog uh, to go for is the ear. I think the dog's gonna have more control over the animal by the ear. He's gonna be far enough away from the teeth of the hog where he can't get damaged. He's also gonna do less damage to your meat. Um, same way with the goats. We raise small goats, obviously. I think our biggest goats were around 70, 75 pounds. With that being said, we were able, because of the size of the goats, um, the goats got out a, a lot. Even when we kept them in here, they would jump from fence to fence. And, you know, they, even though they're domesticated animals, they're pretty weary. Mine were. They didn't want to come right to you. Only a few of them was. And I'm not going to stand out here chasing animals all day so we were able to let younger dogs out on the goats and you know memphis done that Rome done that emory done that um teleco pretty much you know we got to utilize the dogs on the goats quite a bit for the short amount of time that we had and we never really had a goat injured they'll catch by the ear um you just get over there you're out there with the dogs obviously and the dogs if the dog is smart when you get there then you tell them to you tell them out or off they'll if they're smart they'll they'll drop it so that's it for today um like i said that's a question that i got a lot i don't claim to be an expert but i got that question a lot and so i figured i would answer it just make sure that you're uh, going by the laws in your area because when you have these dogs they're they seem to be you know extra um what's the word i'm looking for there you can't get away with as much you know even though you're not breaking the laws if you got any type of bulldog they're going to be harder on you and keep a closer eye on you so until next time this is daniel with pride of the southland kennels thank you all for watching